asthma prevention in children. Proper diagnosis by a licensed physician is one of the most important things that you can do besides following the, the doctor's orders. Those are very important issues. Uh, a prevention is worth a pound of cure. How many times have we heard that? Some of the ways that uh, we can prevent asthma or, um, and help the child is to keep a log of the triggers. Uh, once you see what triggers uh, the asthma or the attack of asthma in the child, then keep a log of it and then uh, make sure there's a smoke-free um, house or even the outside because all the irritants is still on the clothes also. So uh, secondhand smoke, as we know, is very dangerous. And uh, just having smoke around a child, the irritants are there. Avoid extreme weather changes. Uh, avoid uh, those with colds. And uh, it might be possible for the child to obtain a flu shot yearly. Uh, the bedding should be changed one uh, to two weeks. You should have clean uh, sheets and pillowcases uh, covered uh, with uh, the wraps on them so that there will not be a lot of irritants or dust mites with, so the child will be able to breathe in a cleaner environment. Uh, pets with uh, a small hair uh, so the dander won't uh, be on the child and in the air. Uh, a clean a residence or a clean place where the child sleeps and eats and crawls and plays. Uh, medications are very important that they're followed uh, exactly the way that they have been ordered by your physician. A HEPA filter to filter out the extremes of the, uh, the bacteria and the pollutants in the air. Uh, moles and dampness uh, are something to be avoided for these children. Uh, avoid new ceiling fans uh, because they're usually very dusty and create more dust and wind and cause turbulence uh, for the child to breathe. Uh, make sure there is um, uh, roaches that are taken care of, cockroaches, can cause uh, asthmatic attack. Uh, humidity less than 50% is usually very good for the child to be able to breathe. Uh, cover the vents with filters. Avoid strong odors. Use air conditioning in the home and the car instead of rolling the windows down or opening the windows. And uh, watch uh, the forecast for pollens. Uh, pollens are normally higher in the midday and the afternoon.